All right, guys, chisel grind blade. Why is it so intimidating? I don't know. It just is. Um, I'm going to give it a try today. All right, so here's my Emerson Roadhouse. Had it about two years, left it out near a barbecue one night. Of course, it rained, so it's got some rust spots up here that I'd like to clean off. Uh, clean out in here a little bit. Top of the, the spine there. And then probably three days after I got it, I tried to, to take a staple out of some paper like an idiot and messed up that tip. So trying to figure out what the best tool to use on this and I'll probably go to Ernie's website at Emerson and see what he recommends. So that's kind of the idea. I'm going to take this out take the, the knife apart and just start cleaning it up. All right, so here's the complete breakdown. Kind of the back, inside got some rust. Clean that all up, get it oiled, and work on this blade a little bit. All right, so I took it down a, a little bit more. Took the little clip off the back. Um, bottom of the screws look like they were rusted a little bit so here's the blade just wanted to be able to evaluate pretty darn dull not even wanting to, to really get on there and it's sure not cutting it's more ripping so pretty dull all right so what the website recommends is using one of these Lansky diamond rods and what I'm going to do is just watch the tip of this blade as I go across this and make sure that I'm hitting it at the right angle trying to keep this blade or this uh, this diamond rod at the right angle and what I'm going to do is treat this Tonto blade as its, as its own individual blade so I'll come back and hit that one itself but we'll treat these two angles as, as something different. And it recommends five or ten strokes across this until you can feel a burr on the back. I don't feel one. And then you just go back at the end and do a single or a double across the back side without scratching um, the grind up here. So what that'll look like. And there's a there's a bit of a burr back there. Well it's just the same way, pushing across the blade. Just go a couple of times and it'll keep that that uh, that metal from folding over. Okay, so this is going pretty well. I've almost got that little nick out of the top there. And it's probably been four or five minutes. What I've been doing is just try to watch the tip here and make sure that I'm biting it at the right angle. You can see it'll get uh, it'll get real shiny at the bottom here, and it'll be dark at the top. So then I know that. My, my Lansky rod is tipped too far forward, so I, I tip it back, and then when I start to see that uh, it's going the opposite direction where it's shinier on the back side than it is on the front, then I, then I found a nice little in-between. And so what I've been doing is going at about this angle, and I've been just doing some small circles. Makes it so that my right hand here stays at the right angle and then I can watch the blade and you can see, maybe you can see, um, that it's, it's darker on the back side. So I just need to tip my angle down a touch. And that should be it about there. 
it's not real difficult. And then on the back, a slight burr. So I'm gonna just go on one or two times across that. And then like I said, I'm gonna treat this this front tonto blade as its as its own as well. So let me turn that landscape a little bit. And it sure seems like it's moving some, some metal around. I like that. Little neck is gone now. Looks like it's got a little bit of a divot right here on the back side. So I'll sharpen it just a little bit more. And, and then we'll strap it. Alright. So about another minute or so. And... It's really starting to look nice. Can't believe I, I let it have that nick for so long when it was pretty simple to, to fix. And it's, it's now starting to cut. It's not just tearing. So. Right, so this tip here is a little more difficult when you start doing circles. It gets caught up on the tip. So what I'm doing. Because when I get close to the tip there, I'm just going to do what's certainly recommended so that I can ensure that that tip stays sharp. I don't hit the wrong angle there. Looking good. And then trying to get all the way down here. And I've got my finger pushed against that. Um, so that I don't go below this 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 tonto blade here. Tonto tip. So when I'm when I'm rubbing it, it rubs against my finger and so that it just doesn't go any any further down than I'm wanting it to. Going well. Alright, so I'm pretty pleased with that. The grind looks pretty consistent, pretty even and that mark on the tip is gone. So, very happy. Honestly, it's pretty easy. I'm going to clean it up. Probably find some baking soda and a toothbrush and try to get some of this rust out of there. But other than that, I think it's pretty good. Alright, so here's the baking soda. A little bit of water, make it kind of a paste. It's more just an abrasive than anything, so there's no formula to it. And now I'm just going to apply it to the areas with a little rust, rust marks, and just brush it a little bit. Generally comes off pretty good. I mean, this isn't going to work for deep pitted rust, pitted marks on your blades, but it'll it'll take some some uh, water spots, some little rust marks, and things off. So, the elbow grease and toothbrush, and it should come pretty pretty clean. All right. So three or four minutes scrubbing. come pretty clean. I'm not real interested in, in cleaning it up completely because it's a, a user knife. Um, but I'm pretty pleased with how that turned out. I used that baking soda on the bottom of this, this little clean
clip screws. There's a little bit of rust on those. I'll probably clean them up just a touch more. There was a tiny bit of a rust on the end here that cleaned up nice. So I'm pretty pleased with how this has turned out. And I think I'm going to put it back together and then we'll strop it. All right. So the only place metal to metal is touching here, or, or where metal will be moving against other metal, is in this area here. So I'm going to put some oil all around that. And then, again when the blade is together, here. Also, right here, so that when this goes together, the blade opens up, there'll be some lubrication there. Okay. Then when everything's back together, make sure that uh, the screws are, are tight. This screw is going to get tightened last, um, but now that we've lubricated in there between the two washers, and just work some of that oil back and forth. That should open up nice and smoothly. And then we're ready to, to set the, the tension on this. This is going to really indicate how quickly the, the, the blade will open. So if you tighten it down like you did the other things, the blade won't open. So you'll have to mess with this a little bit and get it to where you, where you like it. All right, so that's all back together. Looks cleaned up. We'll still strop it, um, but I, I wanted to kind of talk about this little wave feature. Um, this is meant to catch in your pocket when it slides into your pocket. As you're removing it from your pocket, this will catch on the outside here as it comes out, and it will help it to open up. So, I think that's a pretty neat little little feature on here. It's in your pocket. You can just reach in, pull it out, and it opens up. So, pretty cool knives. Alright, so it's back together. Looks good. And the last piece is to strop it. Now they've got these leather strops. Got nylon linen on one side. You can clean up a blade and then stroke across it like you see in the old barber shop um, owners do with the, the straight blade. Um, if you don't have a leather strop, you can just use the the back of a notepad. You know those legal size notepads, whatever. The the cardboard on the back of those will work just fine as well. Um, Really what you, what you do is you're just going to lay this pretty much flat and just drag it across backwards. You know, if, if, uh, if, you, if you come this way, of course, you're going to cut the leather. Um, so you're just going to put a nice, sharp uh, finish on this thing. And it, it's, it's, it's kind of amazing how quickly this thing will sharpen up. Um, again, I'm going to strop it the way I sharpened it. So I'll wait for that Tonto blade a little bit later. Um, that's the back where the burr is at. You want to make sure that the burr is off, but same, same way the other direction. You're just going to come back and polish that tip. And, and boy, that thing is it's pretty sharp right now. Back together, stropped up nicely, and it is razor sharp all the way down. So don't be intimidated by it. Give it a try. Not too bad. Thanks.